Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I've been asked by a customer to hem some curtains, so that's what we're going to be doing today. These are eyelet blockout curtains, and they're about they're almost 90 inches or 223 centimeters long. The customer wants these cut really short for a kitchen window, and the finished size is only 94 centimeters or about 37 inches. So there's quite a bit to come off. I'm going to show you how to go about measuring these curtains and then re-hemming them. The technique that I'm showing you today for hemming these curtains is the same technique that I use for really long curtains as well. Um, today I'm lucky I can do it in my studio so I can just lay the fabric out on my cutting table. Normally when I'm making really big ones for a customer I'll take them out to the table tennis table and spread everything out there. So same technique for long or short curtains. Come along and I'll show you what to do. It's actually very easy to hem curtains. Providing the customer has given you the right measurements. I've got two curtains or a pair of them to do. I've set one aside and the measurement that I need overall is 94 centimetres and I think that works out to be 37 inches. So what I have to do is measure the length that I want and I'm told by the customer he wants the 94 centimetres to be from the very top of the curtain, not from the top of the ring. I'm working in centimetres today because that's the measurements that the customer has given me so it'll be easier for me. From here, which is the top, 94 centimetres to the end. I also need to allow hem. When I do a hem for a customer, if it's come in with a hem already on there, then I'll give the customer the same kind of hem. So this is the bottom of the curtain at the moment and the hem length is seven centimeters or two and three quarter inches. And then there is some folded over underneath just to keep the top edge nice and neat. I'm going to double this. There's some plenty of fabric here for me to do that. So I'm just going to double this then that way we've got a double fold over hem at the bottom. It's easier to work out the double than it is just to work out one inch and then have to fold it again. So for me, seven centimetres twice is 14 centimetres. So with the original 94 centimetre hem, I am going to add the 14, which gives me 108 centimetres. So that's what I need to measure the entire length of my fabric to be at. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay out my fabric nice and flat and I'm going to start from the top. Don't you love the quality control in curtains? Nice big black mark on the back of them. So I've got my cutting mat here and what I'm going to do is clamp the top of my curtain to the top of my cutting mat. It's got a nice solid straight edge and if you have clamps it'll be much easier. So you can clip it, because I do use my little plastic clips as well. I have these um, metal binding clips, hemming clips. So I'm going to line up my fabric all the way along the very top edge of my cutting mat here, which is going to give me a good reference point to start measuring from. And I also have to do this in increments because my cutting table is only about 50 inches wide and these curtains are probably about 80 inches in width. So I'm going to have to do this in, section, in sections. Okay, so the first section of my curtain has been clipped to my cutting mat. And what I need to do now is have this nice and flat. We'll get our tape measure and measure from the very top edge because that was the customer's specifications. And I've got to measure one meter and eight or 108 centimeters. So I'm going to measure from this top edge here. I'm going to have to move this across to show you. So from the very top down to 108 centimeters. So from the very top, I'm going to bring my tape measure down to 108 centimeters and I'll make a mark there. And I'm going to do this 
all the way across now. So I'm going to come across with my tape measure and measure out 108 centimeters just in increments along the bottom. And then I'm going to use my straight edge ruler and line up these marks that I'm making. And when you come from the very top, you want to make sure that your tape measure is nice and straight as well. You don't want to be measuring across on the diagonal. You want to come from here straight down, not like that, otherwise you're going to have the wrong length. All the while that you're doing this, you need to make sure that your top section stays nice and straight as well. You don't want that skewed at the top either. When I'm working with longer curtains, I'll use a builder's tape measure as well because that will sit nice and flat along the whole piece of fabric. So these are the marks I've made so far. I'm going to line up my ruler along those marks and then mark a straight line And that line there will be my cutting line. So my cutting line, and then I'm going to have seven centimeter hem for the first fold, and then another seven centimeter hem. So my hem will actually finish up here. I can check that by coming back up to the top and measuring that finished hem length that I want. So I want the 94 centimeters. So that 94 centimeters is right here. That will be the finished length of my hem. And if I have a double fold of seven centimeters each, I've got 14 centimeters along here. That'll be my double fold. So what I have to do now, I've done this section. Because there's so much width on this fabric, I'll remove these clips. And I'll slide the remainder of the fabric across. And then I'll reposition the clips and continue to measure. So I will go and do that now and come back shortly. Once you've finished hemming all the way to the other side, before we make any cuts, we want to make sure we've double checked our measurements. And if everything's right with your measurements, then you can start cutting. I find using a rotary cutter and a ruler much easier to cut with because I can do really long lengths. And the other thing I'm going to do when I cut, this is the fabric side that I want to keep and this is the remnant. I'm going to be cutting this section off. Because I've got such a thick line here, when you're actually making your marks on a ruler, whatever you're using to measure is usually sitting on the line that you want and any mark that you make is excess. So I've probably got about an eighth of an inch thickness, maybe a bit less, of a crayon here that I've used to mark my line. So when I'm cutting, I'm cutting on the side that I want to keep rather than on the outside of the line. If I cut on the outside, that's going to give me those extra two or three millimetres length of fabric. And sometimes that can make a difference in your finished hem when, when somebody's asked for a specific length. So I'm lining my ruler up on the top side of that drawn line and that's also where I'm going to be cutting. I can remove the fabric from the clamps now and I can just go and cut everything all the way to the other side and then I'll do the same for the other curtain as well. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole process. Once you start folding and, and hemming your curtains, that's easy and the sewing is the easiest part. This is now my cut hem length. This mark here is where I want the finished length of my hem to be. So once I fold that up once and again, I'm going to have a really nice double fold hem and I'll sew along here. I'm fortunate that the measurement that I need in centimetres is going to work out nice and easily on my ruler because this is in inches. I'm doing a double folded hem so I need to measure five and a half inches from the bottom edge. So I'm taking the five and a half inch line and I'm going to line that up with the bottom edge of my fabric 
and just make sure that line is nice and straight all the way along the bottom there and I'm going to mark a line which for you is going to be very difficult to see but that's fine I do only want a faint line anyway so as long as I can see a reference line there when I'm folding my fabric that's all that will matter so I'm going to pull the fabric toward me and I'll continue doing this until I've marked the hem along the entire bottom edge and the fabric distorts so you want to you don't want to use the full length of your ruler just measure where you know you've got exactly that right length And this five and a half inches that I'm measuring is 14 centimetres. That's double my hem and I'll show you why we're measuring that length in a minute. Okay, so I've got 14 centimetres here which is double the amount of hem that I need. What we can do here is take the bottom edge of the fabric and we're going to fold that up to that line that we've marked and ideally if you've got an iron you will go and press this at the same time but you can go and take your clips I'm folding the raw edge up to the drawn line and I'm going to do that all the way along the curtain so this first fold you will do all the way along the full length of your curtain then you'll come back to the beginning and take your fabric and fold it at that line. You'll find that you won't need to really measure this because we've got that bulk of fabric underneath. All you need to do is sort of manipulate it down and it'll actually sit at the right length. But you do want to go and take your ruler and make sure that you do have that seven centimeters all the way along. So once you've folded the first fold, you can fold it up right on that line because that is going to become our finished hem length and you can then reposition these clips so that it sits nice and even and you can take it to the machine and sew it so I'll go and do that now with this piece and just on the end here when you get to the end of the fabric it has a tendency to shift forward you want to make sure when you finish sewing that this actually sits on the inside of the curtain that you don't actually have it sticking out like that so I'll just go and finish hemming all that so now I'm folding the fabric up and I'm just double checking the measurements as I go along and I'll remove the clip from the top and place that down the bottom and this will be my stitching line later okay I've finished hemming this curtain before I finish it by sewing the hem I'm going to cut the other one measure that hem it as well and then we have to line them up and make sure they're all perfectly aligned so I'll set that one aside and I'll repeat that process with this piece okay I have finished hemming both pieces of the curtain now and what I want to do is make sure that the curtains match up in length I've double checked that my length is 94 centimeters from top to bottom and this is one of the curtains and this is the other one and then you just want to take them and make sure they line up at the top edge here and that they end up lining up along the bottom as well and do that at both ends because the curtains are going to be sitting next to each other on the window so you want to make sure that you have both ends lining up nice and evenly I can take this to the sewing machine now and I'm going to sew from this end here all the way along right to the very end it's just a very very quick sew it's the quickest part of the whole project so we'll stitch that down all the way on both curtains and then we're finished they just need to be pressed and then they can be hung this is my favorite part of doing curtains when you get to the end after just six minutes of sewing the job is finally done so there's the finished curtains uh, this is just one of them. I've gone and pressed the bottom 
so that sits nice and flat now and both curtains have actually measured out nice and evenly as well something that occurred to me with these curtains and it happened in this job here is that these are rubber backed curtains and I've got a machine because I'm using an industrial machine the needle goes up and down fairly fast and I had this problem happen to me a few weeks ago where I went so fast that I actually melted the fabric I didn't do that this time but because this is a very light fabric and normally usually when I do curtaining for customers there's lots of prints happening so I don't pick up on this but because the needle is going up and down so fast with the rubber back curtain it gets quite hot it creates a black scorch mark on the fabric thankfully that doesn't come through on the front it was just on the wrong side of the fabric and as soon as you slow down and the needle isn't so hot going up and down it doesn't happen so I was I picked up on it fairly quickly and I didn't have a problem with it but it reminded me of these drapes here when I actually made these ones I was using a pleating machine and the pleating machine the needle goes it just zips through very very quickly and the needle is going up and down really quickly and right along the entire back section of the pleated curtains I've got black marks in the stitching holes and that's because the needle was going in and out so quickly so that just occurred to me today it's the first time I've had that happen with any curtains that I've done as I said, usually I have dark curtains or printed curtains. Uh, looks like this customer and myself are the only two crazy ones to go and have white curtains in their house. Anyway, six minutes of sewing and the whole job took about 90 minutes all up. I'm charging the customer $65 for this. I charge $45 an hour. I've rounded it down so it works out to be about $68 for the hour and a half that the job has taken me. I've just rounded that down to 65 she's a regular customer so I do get a lot of work from her and it's not a hard job uh, I just I don't really like doing curtains but it's not a hard job at all very very simple straight sewing and the measuring is very easy as well so I'll charge her $65 for that hour and a half of sewing I don't really like doing curtains I don't advertise that I do them occasionally I'll get roped into doing them for people I don't mind. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.